Hey there, this is my video installment number three on the um, series of magic and I'm at my poolside and <laughs> there's a floaty toy that's coming by to say hello just now. That's so funny. Um, you know, I was going to talk today about like who is the magic maker and uh, it's a pertinent question for me lately to ask, you know, am I sourcing from a deep, deep place inside myself that we would call quantum or non-ordinary? and um, maybe even just true or am I coming from my mind or my egoic consciousness when I create outcomes or, or choose outcomes or seemingly um, want to manifest something and even though that topic is a really a burning one for me right now I'm going to change it today because I have a blog post that I wrote in 2014 September that went to 50,000 views and yesterday it started trending up to 2,000 um, out of the blue yesterday and today being shared again on Facebook and I would love to talk a little bit about that instead and that post is about embodiment of awakening and it's really something that I still struggle to completely understand in my own life and to embrace one of the things that I've discovered in the three years since my own um, abrupt um, awakening to true nature is that my body is not incidental or a bystander it is a huge part of that process. Right now I'm sitting by my pool and I'm going to take a swim because I'm going to exercise this baby so that it is going to stay healthy. But beyond the normal <laughs> tendency to want to be healthy, there's actually the um, question about is the body a superconductor? Is our, is our brain and our neural network and our endocrine system actually what the light of our true nature needs uh, for it to flourish and for it to shine in the world as opposed to um, a transcendent view of awakening which says <laughs> I love my bird behind me which sort of says you know that nothing's real the world's not real the body's unreal it's all Maya or illusion I have to disagree with that I think that the body is a part of reality it's certainly not the totality and so just to ask all of you listening and reading my blog perhaps and I'll have a link to that with my uh, email and at the bottom of YouTube so if you want to know the whole article about the um, embodiment of awakening it's called um, why we're not ready for the full body truth of awakening and crucify those who tell it and it seems like that was a popular topic for a lot of people in the last few months anyway if you would love to bring your own insights for your own awakening journey to this dialogue please email me or please comment at the bottom of the YouTube um, posting and let me know how has it been for you to experience a journey towards awareness or enlightenment or awakening whatever you like to call it in terms of the body that you are a part of not necessarily identified with but it's part of the totality of the expression of what you are I'm at three minutes and 13 seconds and I made a commitment to myself to try to keep these little babies at three minutes so I'm gonna sign off I hope you're enjoying this series I'm gonna take a dive into the pool <laughs> and I keep looking at my time to see where I am there's my pool yay and there's like floaty toys that my daughter who's 16 uh, bought because she likes to be I suppose you know, make a statement about reality with flamingos and pizza slices. Anyway, have a great week ahead, everybody, and let me know your thoughts about being um, awake or enlightened or moving in the toward, towards enlightenment <laughs> and your body. Thanks a lot.